everyone. My name is Taylor, and I work at the Fall River Public Library as the young adult librarian. Now, normally, I don't get to do story times, but I figured with today's beautiful weather, and it's been very, very nice weather for the past couple of days, I figured we would take story time outside. And I decided to choose the woods because it fits in with today's theme. Today's story is a story called The Boy Who Cried Bigfoot. I figured it would fit in nicely with where we are right now. Now, even though Bigfoot is one of my favorite creatures, we all know Bigfoot's not real, right? And that is where this story comes into play. And you'll find out that our young friend right here wants to fool all of his friends and family that Bigfoot is real. But again, we all know that Bigfoot's not real, right? The Boy Who Cried Bigfoot by Scott Magoon and published by Simon & Schuster Books for Young Readers. This is the story of my friend Ben and how we first met. There's Ben. This is Ben. Ding, ding. Ben liked to tell stories. Look, everyone, it's Bigfoot. He liked to tell stories. Well, I don't see him. A lot. Bigfoot! All that practice made him a pretty good storyteller. And he looked like this, and he sounded like this. He even used props. What a tenacious little fellow he was. People came from all over town to see Bigfoot. They waited and they waited, but the creature never appeared. He walked right through here, see? After many hours with no sightings, everyone suspected that Ben had made it all up. Bigfoot isn't real. He is real, his feet were this big. He was right here. I saw him. And there's our friend Ben waiting for Bigfoot to arrive. But we all know Bigfoot isn't going to be a showing up. Crick. I don't ever remember crossing paths with you, little foot, I said. I didn't normally talk to a little foot, but there was something about this Ben I liked. He was a determined fellow. I also liked his bike. I asked, mind if I take it for a ride? But Bigfoot? Bigfoot! Bigfoot! Bigfoot is stealing my bike! And my dog! Alas, 
No one believed Ben anymore. No one came running. It seemed Ben found being alone to be a little scary. Ding, ding. Fortunately for Ben, he wasn't alone for long. Ben, where are you? Come home. It's time for dinner. And it was time for me to go home too. I'm sorry I created such a ruckus, Ben said. But I really did see him, Mom. Oh, Ben, she said, let's go home. So Ben and his family went home and had a hot meal. I don't know what a hot meal is, but I do know that Ben learned the importance of always telling the truth. And he wanted everyone to know he really had seen me. What do you think he's going to do? So the next morning, he set out to prove it. What a tenacious fellow he is. The end. Now, I know that Ben learned a very important lesson about the importance of telling the truth. But again, we all know that Bigfoot isn't real. Ah! Mr. Foot, sir, how are you? Now, I've always been one of your biggest fans, and I've always said to people that Bigfoot exists. What brings you here, Mr. Foot? Yes. Oh, yes, sir. Take a seat. I think that'll fit you. What? You, you, do you want me to read you the story? Oh, but, I mean, we, we just finished reading the story to all the boys and girls. Ah! You want me to, you want me to read it? Oh, for goodness sake. Okay, I'll read the story. This story's called, The Boy Who Cried Bigfoot. Oh! 